The Titans signed Eagles left tackle Andre Dillard to a three-year $29 million contract. Andre Dillard was a first-round pick for Philadelphia in 2019 out of Washington State, but he's only played 736 snaps for his entire career, and a full season is about 1,000 snaps. To give you a reference point, Dennis Daly played 942 snaps last season. So there isn't a ton of film to go off with Andre Dillard, and the sample size for this evaluation is pretty small. But after going through all of his tape, I'm a fan of this signing. I would give it a B-. I think the Titans are immediately raising the floor of their pass protection. Andre Dillard has shown enough to where I'm comfortable that he's going to be a starting caliber pass blocking offensive tackle. And he doesn't give you as much as a run blocker, but I'm actually really interested to see if this move foreshadows a change in philosophy for the Titans. Under John Robinson, the non-negotiable with offensive linemen is that they had to be able to block outside zone. It didn't matter if they were good or bad in pass blocking, the Titans would not consider someone that didn't have that skill set. But with this move, they seem to be prioritizing pass blocking, which is what I think they should do. Before we get into the video, make sure to like and subscribe. Also follow us on all of our social medias. You can find the links to those in the description below. So when it comes to evaluating an offensive tackle's pass protection, I think of it in terms of their ability to block pass rushes in all three directions, inside, outside, and down the middle and Andre Dillard has no problems protecting the outside. He has extremely quick feet, great slide quickness to mirror speed rushes, and he has a really smooth pass set. He gets adequate depth, and he does a good job protecting the outside shoulder. And then I was also really impressed with his hand usage. He doesn't have the best length, but he makes up for that with a really quick punch. And there are times that will let the pass rusher land hands on him first, but he always has a recovery plan and he does a good job replacing his punch throughout the rep. You can see on this play against Dallas, if you want to hit Andre Dillard with a straight speed rush, you're not going to have much success. And so the fact that Dillard has that requisite level of foot quickness to keep up and protect the outside shoulder, that alone makes him an upgrade to Dennis Daly. And then he also has a really solid anchor, great ankle flexion to drop his weight and resist the bull rush. And for a player that's kind of upright and stiff in some ways, Andre Dillard has a really impressive ability to drop his weight and adjust his leverage. But Andre Dillard's main weakness as a pass blocker is protecting against inside counters. He has a tendency to lower his head into contact, and when he drops his anchor, he fully commits all of his power into anchoring against that bull rush. And you can see on this play against Chris Jones that opens up the opportunity for pass rushers to swim inside and then here's another one against Kansas City you can see his weight displacement is too far forward and then when the pass rusher rips inside it's like pulling the rug out from underneath him but Andre Dillard's a player with elite athletic traits 90th percentile in the three cone short shuttle 40 yard dash 10 yard split and broad jump and for a player with such limited experience it's hard for me not to project him to have some development in this area if you watch him on a snap to snap basis Andre Dillard shows the ability to slide inside and mirror those inside counters. It's just a matter of consistently playing with proper technique and a strong inside hand. And then he also has really good awareness as far as picking up stunts and twists although he could improve his vision and proactiveness when it comes to giving his left guard help. And then the final thing to discuss with Andre Dillard is his run blocking, which is definitely not the reason the Titans signed him. He's a really fast and explosive player, so he has the speed to get downfield as a puller or a screen blocker, but he lacks the short area quickness to secure those blocks, and he usually just ends up running 20 yards downfield and not making contact with anyone. And his combination of foot quickness and natural power makes him really effective blocking duo. He can cover a lot of ground along the line of scrimmage and just wash to defenders out of the play, but outside of that, his run blocking tape was very underwhelming. His footwork and balance are great in pass protection, but when the Eagles ran the ball, that all went out the window. But the way I look at this signing is that for the past four years, the Titans have invested heavily in run blockers along the offensive line, and they're finally going in an opposite direction and potentially modernizing their offense. The number one thing that you need from your left tackle is the ability to protect the quarterback, and I think Andre Dillard can do that at a C plus to B minus level. And three years, 29 million is an absolute steal in my opinion, especially when you consider the athletic upside that Andre Dillard has. Thanks for watching. If you enjoy the video, make sure to like and subscribe. Also, let me know in the comments any NFL free agents that you'd like me to cover.